Well, fans, we have some new information coming in in connection to the final episode of Dragon Ball Super, which we do have a finalized title courtesy of Herms98 on Twitter for translating the official final title for Dragon Ball Super episode 131, which we are going to share our thoughts and opinions on what this may imply. Now, the final episode of Dragon Ball Super... Ever since Vegeta got his transformation, the new transformation, the sparkly transformation, some people call it the Twilight Transformation. I don't like that name. I like to call it Limit Breaker. The fans coined that term way before we even seen Vegeta get a new transformation. And a lot of people were hype about it. It said that Vegeta broke his limits. But apparently, according to the latest information, I believe it's coming from a hard term. So we are currently 120 episodes into Dragon Ball Super and that's incredible to think that the series is almost twice the length of GT at this point. And when we look at how far Dragon Ball Super has come, especially in this extremely long tournament of power, Well, hello everyone, it's your motherfucking Prince of all the Saiyans, and today I have another reaction video for all of you. This one is called Mastered Ultra Instinct Kakarot vs. Jiren. Without further ado, here we go. Right? You're going down, boy. What? Everyone knows Jiren is fast, but is he faster than instant transmission? In order to answer this question, we need to first figure out how fast Jiren truly is. And I'm not talking about theories and speculation, I'm talking about mathematically calculating exactly at how many meters per second Jiren can move. So every time that I do one of these videos, I always give a spoiler warning because sometimes people click the videos on accident or YouTube auto plays it for them and I want to give people time to click off the video if they don't want to be spoiled for episodes of Dragon Ball Super. Well, this one is like times 20. Na casa do câmbio, você sabe que tem drops na casa do câmbio, tem novidade, Dragon Ball, e a novidade de hoje é que... A revista The Jump liberou algumas novas informações sobre o episódio 129 e também sobre o instinto perfeito. The Legacy of Goku era is a very untouched timeline in DBZ, mostly because, aside from the movie, no one knows what else happened during Goku Jr.'s lifetime. Dragon Ball Centuries changes this with a story set 100 years from the last sighting of Goku. It follows the story of Goku Jr. after the Legacy of Goku movie, and for a good 100 years there has been no outstanding threat to the Earth, which means Goku Jr. has had a pretty normal life. Aside from being the grandson of Pan and the great-grandson of Goku, Goku Jr. goes to school, so everything is as normal as it can get for him. The story begins in Hercule City while Goku Jr. is at school, and this is a really nice touch by the author. This girl comes up to Goku Jr. and asks, have you seen the new movie? Battle of Gods. So not only are there references to Dragon Ball 100 years ago, No, but seriously, how's Krillin? It's just like my mom said. You're absolutely amazing, Goku. Now I know that I can reveal to you my secret. A secret? I love secrets. I'm awful at keeping them, though. Like, the worst. <laughs> 